Hey YouTube, hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for the uh, previous video that I did about the jasmine rice. Uh, I just bagged this stuff up to a couple hours ago actually, so they're not rock hard yet with the uh, oxygen abs ab absorbers uh, in the mylar bags. Uh, so <clears throat> I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, long-term storage buckets. And uh, I don't normally package things in five gallon buckets and use the large mylar bags. I use the one gallon bags for long-term storage. And I don't put all of the same product into the same bucket. So um, I do that just in case I need to grab and go. So if I want to grab one bucket, uh, I can only grab one bucket. I don't want that bucket just to be full of just rice. Uh, I want that bucket to have three types of meals in it, snacks, beverages, uh, in each bucket. So I may have oatmeal, rice, canned goods, sausage, con um, condiments, and snacks, and drink powders all in one five-gallon bucket. And that will cover breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks uh, in one bucket. Uh, I know other preppers like to put all their flour in one bucket and all their sugar in another bucket and all their rice in other buckets and coffee in another bucket and whatever. So, and that if that works for you, that's fine. I, I just like the option of having an assortment in each bucket, and that's just the way I do it. Um, so, if you choose to store your preps in this manner, uh, meaning several uh, meals in one bucket. Um, I have a little tip for you guys. So what I do is cut out the nutritional facts and cooking directions uh, for your preps that you have bagged, like your rice uh, or complete pancake mix or whatever. And the reason for that is, you know, in a type of emergency, people can forget how to cook things. You know, your mind's just in all different directions, maybe having... The cooking directions there will help you, oh, I need one cup of water for one cup of rice or a cup and a half of water for one rice and uh, for one cup of rice or, you know, I need uh, two cups of water for one cup of pancake mix, complete pancake mix. Whatever the case is, it's nice to have those cooking instructions there and also the nutritional information. So if you're in a situation, especially long term, where you need to count calories uh, or you need to be in a situation where you are monitoring how much you're eating because your preps are getting low or whatever you want to know how many calories you're taking in and each individual in your family is taking in per day it's nice to have the nutritional information so um, here's a picture of what I do Okay, so then I place it on a scanner and I scan the image as a JPEG or a picture file. And you don't want to save it as a PDF file. And this is important because you want to be able to resize the image. So if you scan this cutout, um, you will see that you will be able to resize it if you save it as a picture. And here's what I have, a photo of it on my scanner. Okay, and once you have that, you can insert the pictures into a Word document and resize it so it copies about four times on a page. And here's a little quick vid that I did on that. So after you scanned your labels in, basically what I do is go into page layout and I fix my margins and I make my margins uh, half an inch all the way around like this. And then all you do is go to insert and then picture. And then you find the picture that you want to insert, uh, whatever you named it as, whatever. And um, then once that picture gets on here, and after you've cropped it, I would recommend cropping it. Then all you have to do, it'll be really big on your page, and then all you have to do is resize it the way uh, any, you know, where it fits on the page here. And then once you get it sized, then just right click and hit copy and then paste and then paste it four times on the page here and um, basically that's all you need to do save the document I named this one white, white rice and I know anytime I have white rice now all this is saved I just need to print it 
and next time I bag up my LR bags I can just print this out and uh, tape it to the back of the bag or uh, relaminate them and put them in the bucket. Okay so then what I do is I use the original cutouts on the sealed mylar bags and I use clear shipping tape. So once I have the <coughs> see so I use clear shipping tape is that in frame? Yep, use clear shipping tape just tape gun, clear shipping tape and then I'll tape the cooking directions and the nutritional facts to the back of the bag and I do it for each product. So I have it for white rice and then I have it for the jasmine rice. Okay, and then after that, this is what came off the bags. So then I can put that on the bag and just throw that bag in a bucket. And if each of these bags are in the bucket, they both have cooking instructions and they both have nutritional facts on here and caloric intake, vitamins, all that. Then what I do on the four printed out pictures, you can actually laminate okay I have a laminating machine so you can actually laminate these okay so I had four total per page so I have four in the jasmine rice I did on I think it's pink paper okay and then the white rice I laminated and I did it on white paper so even just looking at these I can tell these are different by the different colors that I printed them on Okay, so the white rice is on white paper, and then I just laminated it, okay? And so what you can do is you can put the additional bags, um, you can put that on with clear shipping tape. Uh, if you don't have a lamination machine, that's fine. Uh, you can just put use clear ship, shipping tape and just the ones that you printed out. Um, you can use clear shipping tape and put that on the back of the bag. Or if you want to laminate it, because you don't know what kind of conditions you may be in, could be wet, whatever, at least you know that these are laminated and they're not going to get destroyed. You could just throw them in the bucket that you have with, the, with your preps of stuff that's sealed in Mylar bags. Or if you don't want to tape it to the bag itself, if you just throw it in the bucket, if you're don't, not comfortable with that, you can tape it to the top of the lid. So... And even if you don't have a laminating machine, if you want to put it in a Ziploc bag, maybe you have Ziploc bags in your buckets with utensils or uh, condiments, um, utensils, condiments, sauces, whatever. Um, and you could just throw the nutritional facts in there. So anything that you have sealed in Mylar bags, I think that's just a little quick tip and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, don't know if that helps anybody, but that's kind of what I do. And uh, if you're going to make survival buckets that have many multiple meals in it, I think this is kind of a, a good little tip and kind of keep everybody organized and uh, not only marking your bags, but knowing what's in it and how to cook it. Thanks for watching, guys.